I'm not Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. The curry is fantastic, um, the flavours kind of popped out. In fact, my girlfriend's nearly asleep because of all the nutmeg, and, um, and I'm feeling pretty mellow too. Fernando La Paz. So what I try to do is to manipulate sugar and create objects that look like real glass but they are actually 100% made out of sugar. Cocktail glass which has, is, has been done in two, two steps. So there's the, the bottom of it which is the stem which is made with crystallized sugar. So it's essentially like holding a big sugar cube, uh, which means it's dry and con when you touch them with your skin, um, and it's perfectly solid. And then you have the top, which comes in a second pour, um, which is non-crystallized. So it's clear, and I, I've added some food dye, in this case red and blue, uh, to complement the white, and because the whole banquet is British. Hi there, I'm Charlie Harry Francis from Lick Me I'm Delicious. We have the world's first, and probably the world's only ever, um, liquid nitrogen ice cream pottery machine. So I'll be freezing um, a modified mix, um, which is uh, quite elastic, um, uh, so a modified ice cream mix in using our liquid nitrogen injection system. I'll then put that into a mould, which I'll hand to um, my wonderful potter, um, David Jones, who will then take that ice cream on a potter's wheel, he'll then throw it into a bowl, and then take that off, put it onto a plate, pop strawberries into it, and it will be a liquid nitrogen ice cream pottery take on strawberries and cream. OK, well, I'm uh, David Jones, and it was made into a particular state of solidity which replicates the idea of clay. So it's getting to the point where it feels quite stiff. At that point, what we do is take it out of the machine, put it onto a potter's wheel, 
and we throw the ice cream as you would try and throw some clay on the wheel. Uh, it has to be done quite quickly because the ice cream melts, clay doesn't, and so you have to work with the ice cream quite quickly to make sure that the structure remains within the ice cream and then you can form a small bowl with that ice cream. Okay, I'm Gurpreet Baines, it's Insomnia No More, and this curry is all about making diners feel uh, relaxed after they've eaten it. It contains quite a large dose of nutmeg which contains a, an, an organic compound, myristicin, and what this compound does is in a higher dose than we'd normally use, so you know we might put a pinch or half a teaspoon in something. Um, using a higher dose, it, 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 after you've had the meal, it kind of induces a relaxed feeling as if you've had a couple of glasses of wine. So that's the idea behind the curry. It makes you feel sleepy, helps people sleep. It's completely natural, tastes great, of course. There's a lot of nutmeg in it, which is very pungent, so we kind of balance that off with a lot of cardamom. So standing out is in this curry in particular is the flavours of fresh ginger, um, cardamom, nutmeg, and of course melt in the mouth lamb. So it tastes really good, and there's an extra kick to it as well. This work um, under the name of the Curious Perfection. Actually, a very large floral arrangement, which is covered in little edible birds. Uh, all the birds are little labors of love. They're dark chocolate with different flavor fondant centers, and the whole thing is supposed to be very, uh, I guess, what's the word, um, playful and um, jovial and optimistic. So they're all colorful little spring birds uh, playing around in a kind of beautiful garden. Uh, little tokens of um, uh, love from uh, Demeter and Persephone, they're like fertility symbols. Uh, little spring songbirds that beckon in uh, the abundance and the new coming of life. And it's not spring, but um, that's kind of what I'm wishing for. I'm wishing for, uh, oh, I'm wishing winter would end pretty soon. So <laughs> adding a bit of light and a bit of colour to the, to the banquet this evening. I'm Ruth Ball from Alchemist Dream. I make handmade liqueurs, and my course for the evening is the Tipple course which is a strawberry oolong tea and cardamom liqueur served with soda in teapots.